North Carolina primaries are tomorrow. Whether you are a Democrat, Republican, or Independent, this is your chance to share your thoughts on who you want to see on the ballot in November. Yeah, with election season in full swing, now you have probably seen plenty of political ads on television. We've been getting a ton of questions sent to us about whether these ads are true or not. Yeah, so this election season, we're dedicated to getting the facts here and verifying what you are seeing on your screen. Our Megan Bragg has been digging into one particular ad by a candidate running for government. Governor. It involves Cannon Mills, a local textiles company. Yeah, she's getting us the facts in today's Verify Fact Check. This is the first ad we're looking into, and this one is from Bill Graham, who is running as a Republican for North Carolina. In all, we received six questions to our Verify email, and several others have reached out to us on social media asking if this ad is true. So here's a specific part of the commercial we are evaluating. Cannon Mills. I worked there in the weave room. Now it doesn't even exist. China shut it down. So the main question people want to know is, did China really shut down the Cannon Mills company? So let's get the facts here. Our sources are the North Carolina Encyclopedia, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and this is Scott Trout. He's a former vice president of Cannon Mills betting division. Now, China did play a role in the shutdown of not only Cannon Mills, but other textile companies. But China certainly wasn't the only reason to understand why Cannon Mills shut down. Let's get a look at the history books. According to the NC Encyclopedia, Cannon Mills was founded in 1887 and at the end of World War I became a large producer of towels. In 1906, the company bought land in Kannapolis to open a mill. When I went to NC State during the summer, I would come and work at the mill. In 1968, Scott Trout became vice president of the betting division. Cannon Mills changed hands and leadership for several years after. In 1997, the company was sold to Pillow Techs, which went bankrupt in 2003, eliminating 4,800 jobs in North Carolina. But there is more to the story. According to NCPedia, the North American Free Trade Act, or NAFTA, went into effect in 1994, allowing a free trade zone between Canada, Mexico, and the United States. This free trade started, and the mills had to, uh, you know, spend a lot of money. NCPedia explains NAFTA and later treaties with African and Caribbean nations led to a vast increase in textile and apparel imports at the expense of mills and factories here in NC. It wasn't definitely all China. It was a lot of our own people that run our country were willing to let think free trade really took over. So while Chinese imports did play a role in the demise of Cannon Mills, there were many other factors at play. Environmental requirements, new equipment, changes of leadership, and free trade all contributed to the closing of this once great Kannapolis mill. With your Verify Fact Check, I'm Megan Bragg.